everyone, my name is Books and today I'll be reviewing to you is Genome Valley by SK. So Genome Valley is a very beautiful book. Uh, the ebook, the author actually contacted me for the review and the book is like for 9 rupees and it's like hell of amazing. It is written by SK. I don't know the full name. But Genome Valley has a very interesting concept. What happened is that the world war has ended and now the, uh, it has ended in 2950 and it has taken like after 4 years uh, perspective right now that after four years how people are trying to live their life and from modernization they have turned their life to like traditional uh, primitive methods of the uh, uh, traditional early men methods so it has a very unique concept that how the world war has ended and after 400 years the people are like still trying to comprehend the fact that what devastation that occurred in uh, before the world war and what happened is now is that people have started shifting from uh, modern technological ways to the early man traditions. And the thing is that this whole world and surrounding has been under the rule of the Brotherhood Association. And what uh, the unique concept is that they have uh, now India and China are like one part in this book. And it is called the Sovereign Asia, which is a very cool concept. And the book talks about that how after the World War, everyone expects to have a male child because the male child can give you you know the resources so what happened is that a new society wants a male child only so since the technology does not exist the people are they don't they are not able to do a sex determination for the child and the females are born so what do they do is that they leave them in the wild like in the forest so what happened is that after they are trying to comprehend the fact for what devastation that occurred destruction and you know disaster that occurred during the world war and still after 400 years nothing is happening still training the soldiers but the soldiers now some of them have uh, taken shelter in the forest by creating hut and turned and have been turned themselves into monks and they lived there people started leaving their girl child over there unborn and one of the monks who saw it uh, responsibility of the child and he already had a girl named Rutra with her and now another child he sees which is a female child and he takes her in her shelter so what happened is that the villagers started seeing that there was a lot of female childs were occurring in their in their particular regions so what they did was they created a hut just for girls the best concept is that they have created a hut for the females and they have been trained over there and trained the self-defense and discipline too but one concept that i did not appreciate was that has written that uh, after 400 years, they are the, you know, they're still trying to comprehend the fact for the devastation. And they said the soldiers have taken shelter in monks. So are you talking about the 400 years before fought people, uh, soldiers? Because human lifespan is like 100 years. So even if the four decades, which is brutal. But the, I think so the concept is that the soldiers which have been in army and still training and training and training. And they felt like that there would be no more soldier requirement. They have taken shelter in the, to ask, becoming monks. Uh, next thing I want to mention about this book is that this book is very short like it is like 24 pages and literally 9 rupees on e-kindle and uh, the concept is pretty cool but uh, me as a reader I want more details in a book I need more of it I just cannot be happy with 24 pages but I give this book a 3.8 or like more of a 3.9 but on Goodreads you have seen it is a 4 star the concept is very very beautiful so this is uh, and what happened is that afterwards when the devastation is act occurring people now started demanding for girls because the only the higher class family had girls and the girls had choices because the men were so much in population this created to men's temptation for women and then they started contacting business people who uh, you know had women so which is now also a uh, world that the human trafficking is being on the supreme level of women and children so what happened is that this businessman comes to know that there is a particular hut over uh, a particular region and he goes there and he sees there are a ton of girls out there he captures some of the girls and takes them with him because what happened is that people start demanding for girls but then i thought uh, why the reason why he would, would capture those girls is because they he wants to use them as sex workers or prostitutes or like they're slaves but no that wasn't the concept that businessmen captured those girls, which was mind-blowing, which I came to know in the end. So that is the non-spoilery section of the book. 
so i would highly suggest you guys to read that book up because it is amazing and it is literally 24 pages guys i read that book in 5 minutes and it was beautiful i think so the reason why this author took out this novel of 25 24 pages i won't say it is a book or a novel I, for me it is more like a novella and i think so maybe the author was trying to experiment the fact that would this concept run and and it for me it ran flawlessly i really want this book uh, like ebook novella to be written a big bunch so that i can spend my time i really felt that the author uh, could put more effort into this book uh, secondly i want to mention is that this is the debut novel so for a debut novel this concept is beautiful the concept is really beautiful but i want the execution to be more i want more details how it came so that is all the non spoiler section buy that 9 rupee guys book and let me know what you feel and that's the non spoiler section bye 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 believe bye because i'm going to talk about the spoiler section bye 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 so let's talk about the non spoiler section oh my god so what happened is that after the when he takes those girls rutra and tara these two girls who are first being taken by the mong as their shelter and his responsibility they actually go after uh, for that uh, man the businessman who has taken those girls and what happened is that that businessman acts all ruthless he's like oh i'm a policeman you cannot touch me and this one girl slaps him across the face he's like bitch i'm the boss over here so ain't nobody telling me anything that was so beautiful I love Tara and her team members. They all go after this businessman, captures him. And what they do is that the businessman keeps these, uh, uh, takes them, uh, you know, tries to trap uh, his main head over there. So they, the trap they set up is that of a car, and in there, Ruthra and all her like warrior. You know what? When I was reading this book, if you guys have watched the movie Black Panther. it was giving me straight up wakanda vibes i mean those women those warriors trust me the moment i watched the movie black panther and those wakanda warriors i felt like i should be a wakanda warrior because they were so beautiful i mean like how can someone be so beautiful so warriors like uh, that was just gold right there and after moving to wakanda they uh, go to the specific area containment where the girls have been kept she reaches there they all like spread out and fight and everything i really want that action to be more detailed because i'm a action lover in books so get to see more action please sk put more action and then he takes all those those girls come to know that the the other girls from her region uh, which have been taken as a captives are been shifted to some other uh, experimental area she asks for the expert and the way that sassy ruthra and tara like an agni Uh, they try to you know or oh, take hold as a boss people like badass people like oh you should be more worried if i cut you and like those dialogues were just pitch perfect and then they go to the other doctor so we come to know about the reason that uh, that dr nash tells us that the women which are being captive as they are being artificially impregnated with females so that they get more females so that the ratio of females the sex gender increases and uh, that's why the women have been captive i thought they will be used as sex workers or sex slaves but i was really happy that this concept came out but it wasn't right though i mean like first you throw away girls and then you expect more girls like that just doesn't make sense but that was the book's concept i mean like I, i'm not saying that um the book did not make concept i was saying that the society was not making concept so the author also pinpoints this line that the how can the society expect that first you uh, you know practice into female infanticide and then expect the sex ratio to be equal so that was a beautiful concept put down by the author and i really liked it so that was all the book was about i know this book was so short i wanted so much more i wanted more of ruthra i wanted more of tara i wanted them to become wakanda's warrior type people i would love that i mean like if there is the, oh and this whole impregnation of the women is under the genome valley uh, uh experiment and hence the book genome valley the, yeah it took me a lot of time to tell you about the book so yeah that was all about the book i gave this book a uh, four stars on goodreads the concept was really beautiful i really wanted the author to write more since it was 24 pages i think so the author was trying to experiment the fact that would this concept run it would run for me i i will buy the book i will get it autographed and uh, i'll yeah i'll just get the book and it would be here 
so that was all the concept for the book i really liked that book it was like a novella for me but um, i really would like to read more about it so yeah that's all my review for the book thank you so much for watching do let me know what you think about the book i really like this book i really like the concept i re would really like a book that is concentrated only on women uh, like becoming warriors and badass and everything it's not like i'm uh you know don't want the male gender to be yeah i want male gender to be a bring too but i right right now this book really caused me to read more and i'm all about you know women empowerment and everything and even men empowerment too when are already empowered men but anyways this book was just amazing i want to read more about this book so yeah that's all for today's video thank you so much for watching do subscribe to my channel give it a like uh you can follow me on my instagram you can be friends with me on goodreads and yeah that's it thank you so much for watching i hope you have a great day and i'll see you soon with a new video bye bye